Hello challengers, Ron here. Uh, you might also know me as Micronet on the forum. In this video we're going to be looking at getting your screen grab uh, capture of your matrix into your post. A few of you have been having some problems or a couple issues with it showing up and so hopefully this video is going to help you get that straightened out. We'll be doing this with the Chrome browser and in this video I'll be using Jing for the screen capture. Now you can use whatever software you like, it doesn't really matter. Um, but if you're not uh, using one or have one already, try Jing. It's it's really awesome little piece of software and it's really easy to use. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at what some of the problems might be and how you can get your image into your forum post. Let's uh, open up Marcus Samurai so we can capture our matrix here. And I've already got Jing going, so I'm going to hover on the little Jing button here, and we're going to click Capture. We're going to put the intersection of the two lines where we at the corner of our matrix here, and we're going to click and drag, and I'm going to let go of that. And then we need to actually capture it. We've selected it, and now we need to capture it, so I'm going to click this first icon here. We'll get a preview of our image and then we need to give it a name so I'll just go ahead and call this matrix and then we need to actually save it now here's where part of the problem might be happening with Jing in this case when you create when you get Jing you create a screencast.com account also and a problem is is that screencast.com gives you a link that will not work in the forum what I mean by that is in the forum, in most forums, for an image to show up in your post, it needs the URL needs to end in an image extension, which would be a .jpg or a .gif or a .png. Uh, an example would be this photo bucket URL right here uh, that ends in a .png. Screencast.com, on the other hand, gives us a link that looks like this, and it has no dot. Uh, JPEG or ping or GIF extension on the end. This link will not work in the forum. So the alternative is to actually save it to our computer which really makes it a lot easier to post anyways. That way you don't have to go through the hassles of uploading your photo to a hosting account and then going and find it, getting the link, putting it in the the forum post blah 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 just save it to your computer and the forum will allow us to upload your image off your computer and make it really simple so I'm going to save this image to my computer as opposed to screencast.com and we can do that by clicking on this second icon to save so once I do that then we we'll get the box to pick a location to save our image and we've already got the name in there I'm gonna put it on my desktop and we'll just click save and we're all set there all uh, capture has been saved okay so let's jump over to the for to the forum here now and put this into our post um, we've got our post all set up our title and we've got all uh, all of our text in here now we do require that when you post a, a matrix or uh, your SEO matrix for evaluation that you also do your own evaluation if you're not quite sure how you need to do that or what's required uh, just jump over to the uh, module one forum and look for day six SEO matrix analysis and Carol's put together a post there that pretty much explains what you need to do in your own evaluation along with posting your matrix image and once you do that then we'll be glad to jump in and give you our assessment uh, on your matrix also but that is required that you do your own assessment um, or evaluation along with posting your image okay so now that we got the head out of the way let's get our image put in here okay so I'm gonna place my cursor where I want my image to be and I'm gonna click on the insert image here and here's where I think most of the problem is happening when you post a URL in here of where you've hosted your image at if it's um, in this case screencast.com if you're using Jing it will not work without a image extension in other words the dot jpeg or dot gif or the uh, ping 
so in other words if I take this this link here and I copy it and I post it in there and I click OK and then we preview our post you're gonna notice that we get this little goofy icon here now this actually is a link and it will work if I right click on that and open image in new tab and we go there there's our image okay problem is is that who knows that that is an, a link to your matrix okay that's not gonna work for us so let's go ahead and get rid of that and what we need to do is since we save the image to our computer this makes it real simple instead of using the icon to insert an image just go to the attachment icon and click on that now what will happen is we get this box pops up here to add an attachment to our post and you'll want to go up here and click add file and we're going to choose the file off of our computer so we're going to upload file from your computer click choose file navigate to where you saved your file okay in this case I've got a few of them on here from doing this video pick the image that you saved and click open and then once you've done that then you need to click the upload button the form will upload the image off of your computer and add it into this uh, add it into the post as an attachment now for some reason Google is not showing my attachment down here I don't know why it's a quirk in Google but um, I found that if I just drag another one in then it, for some reason it shows up I can't tell you why it's a quirk in Google but that's how it is okay so anyways um, I'm gonna delete that one and we I wanted to make sure that one was unchecked and now we have our image uploaded off of our computer now two things here once you have this here you want to look over here and in where it says insert in line and it says zero that's because we don't have this checkbox done here now that's fine and dandy if you want to leave it that way you can click done what's going to happen is nothing will show up here but if you preview your post you'll notice now that we have an actual attachment just like you would have in an email or something and if we click on that then it will show your actual um screen grab there okay and that works that's fine and dandy and we recognize that as your uh, upload for your matrix but what if you actually want your matrix to show up in there because that'd be cooler right okay well we can do that we're going to put our cursor again where we want it to show up if you don't put your cursor there it's just going to pop it right at the beginning and you'll have to copy and paste and move it around put your cursor where you want the image to show up in your post go back to the attachments and this time instead of the box popping up we're going to have this manage attachments once you open that back up go back to your image that's in the bottom here and make sure this box is checked now now you'll notice insert in line and it has a number one there click on that and it'll change to zero and then click done now you'll notice we have a link in our post there okay and if we preview our post Ta-da! There's your image in your post. You can click on that. It'll make a bigger view of it. And everything is good. We're all happy. Okay, so that's how you get an image into your post. Um, and the restrictions that we have by using the insert image. This is fine as long as if you have your image hosted somewhere and the link to your image includes a dot png or gif or jpeg it'll work in by doing it this way if it doesn't or you don't want to go through the hassle putting your image up on a hosting account somewhere and getting the link and all that just use the attachment function and save your screen grabs to your computer uh, go to add files find it on your computer upload it and go through the steps i showed you here and you'll be rocking Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with the challenge.